Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and make a quick video for you guys talking about my microbladed eyebrows, my experience, and whether I think it was worth it or not. So I have gotten my eyebrows microbladed twice and the first time I got them done was three years ago by Corey from Boise Brows. I will be leaving her information down below if you guys want to go ahead and check her out. So I am going to tell you guys that right now my eyebrows are filled in so this isn't what they look like without makeup. I will be wiping them off and showing you guys. I just wanted to have them filled in that way you guys can see the difference. So, I never really hated my eyebrows. Um, I kind of just wanted them to be a little fuller from like the front, um, but I didn't have like a huge problem with them. But I would constantly see this like microblading technique on Facebook and stuff, and I thought it was pretty cool. And um, I wanted to try it out, but I had no idea who to go to. So what I did is I just went on Google and I typed in microblading near me and I was going through um, all the pages and stuff and I just wanted to make sure that I picked someone who was very experienced because I didn't want to ruin my eyebrows and I finally found Corey from Boise Brows and she's been doing this for many years and she's so good. Um, she is a little pricey um, compared to others but I mean since it was my first time and I didn't really know much about it I would rather pay more than have my eyebrows fucked up so I set up an appointment with her she's always really booked because she's really good and everybody seems to go to her um, so I did have to wait a couple months before going to my appointment I did fill in my eyebrows before going to my appointment just because I wanted her to know the way I fill my eyebrows and the way I wanted them um, I also showed her a few pictures of the way I wanted them done. So what she did is she outlined the eyebrow and made sure that that's how I wanted it. Next, she mixed the ink so it would be the color of my natural hair. Then after I was happy with the outline and everything, she went ahead and she did put some of that numbing ointment. So I am going to go ahead and tell you guys my experience, but just keep in mind that it's different for everyone. Um, not everyone uses the same numbing ointment, um, not all of them use numbing ointment, so it just depends on like the artist that you go to. So after she put the numbing ointment, um, it did numb it obviously, but I could still feel it. Since they're not shaving off your hair or anything, you do keep your hair. Um, when they start making those cuts, um, you can hear that like scratchy sound and you can feel the cuts going over your hair and it just... I don't know I just I didn't like the sound I didn't like the feeling of it but it isn't super painful like it's tolerable I would have to say that at least for me it was more painful than some of the tattoos I've gotten after she was done um, I looked in the mirror I loved them she asked me if there was any spots that she missed um, if I liked them if that's how I wanted them and whatnot and you know I absolutely love them she did an amazing job I will be inserting some pictures of the way my eyebrows looked before and after um, it wasn't a huge difference I didn't want it to be a huge difference because I've never gotten it done before I didn't want it to be dramatic I wanted it to still look natural I just kind of wanted my eyebrows to be fuller so the healing part I don't want to really go over that with you guys too much um, just because it's different depending on who you go to with Corey, she does like to use like the dry healing, which is honestly what I prefer. Others will give you a, like an oil for you to moisturize your eyebrows with constantly. So it just depends. It does take like one or two hours, maybe more, you know, depending on their experience and your eyebrows. So your eyebrows will get darker and darker by the day. Um, just don't freak out because it will peel just like a regular tattoo. And then the color will be a lot lighter. Um, and you know they'll go over that with you so just don't worry about that so Corey does include a touch-up and I believe it's like three to six weeks I'm not quite sure but I think that's what it was um, so I did go back for my touch-up and they healed really nice I didn't really need a touch-up but she still did go over a few spots that she thought you know needed a touch-up um, and that was really quick so I had them done for I believe like a year and a half and they did fade a lot because 
Microbladed eyebrows are not permanent. They will fade, which is what I like because eyebrows are always changing. So it's not like the tattooed eyebrows from back in the day, um, which were permanent and then they started fading into like ugly colors. It'll honestly last you like one to five years, depending on how good you take care of them. So I didn't expect mine to last a long time. Um, just because I was planning on still filling them in and I know a lot of you guys will ask You know like so then what's the point of getting them microbladed? So I just wanted my eyebrows to look fuller and like you know just for those days where I don't want to wear any makeup Or I don't want to fill in my eyebrows, you know for those days where you're in a hurry and you don't have time For my eyebrows to still look nice Also like even when I fill them in it doesn't take me a long time um, It's really fast so I will go ahead and tell you guys how much I paid. I paid $350. Um, she does charge more now. Everybody just charges differently, just depending on their experience. Um, I do know that it goes from like $150 up to $500. So it just depends on where you live and who you're going to. The second time I got them done, I went to someone else and I paid $200. Um, they came out really good. Um, they had just faded a lot and I wanted a touch up, but I couldn't afford more than 350 since I told you guys that she does charge a lot more. Um, I couldn't afford that so I looked for someone else and I ended up paying $200 and they looked really nice. I will insert a picture of the way my eyebrows looked after the second time I got them microbladed. So the second time I got them done, I believe was like a year and a half ago. I'm not really sure. Um, I will go and check and then like correct myself down here if I'm wrong. So it doesn't last as long for me, but if you're someone who doesn't wear a lot of makeup and you don't really fill in your eyebrows um, and you get your eyebrows microbladed, I'm pretty sure that they're going to last longer on you. It also depends on your skin type, um, if you have dry skin, if you have oily skin. I have more of oily skin, so the ink doesn't stick as much on me, but I still feel like it's worth it um, because you know you go swimming you take a shower and you wake up with eyebrows <laughs> so moment of truth guys I'm gonna go ahead and take a wipe and wipe off an eyebrow for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like without my eyebrows filled in so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one so you see my eyebrows filled in So I just removed all the makeup from my eyebrows, um, but I will go over it with the q-tip just to prove to you guys that I don't have any more makeup on them. And no more makeup on them. So as you guys can see, it's not like a huge difference. Um, they have faded a lot since, like I told you guys, it's been more than a year. Um, but I'm still very happy with them. So before I got my eyebrows microbladed, um, my eyebrows pretty much started like from over here. Um, I didn't have a lot of hair in the front, which is like what I wanted. Um, but like I said, to me, it is worth it, especially if you don't have full eyebrows and you really want that. It looks super natural. I love it. Um, it takes a week for them to heal. So if you want to get your eyebrows microbladed and you're scared, don't be scared. You know, just make sure that you go with someone who's experienced. Make sure that you've seen their work. And just make sure that when they outline your eyebrows before um, before microblading, you're honest with them. Um, you know, because it's something that even though it's not super permanent, it's going to be there for a few years. So just make sure that they really understand how you want your eyebrows. You can go with more naturally, you can go with something more dramatic, you know, it's all up to you. Oh, I forgot to mention to you guys that the second time I got my eyebrows microbladed um, by Courtney, and I will also leave her info down below. 
Um, she doesn't really like to use numbing cream. I think she said it's because the ink will stay a lot longer if you don't use any numbing cream. I believe that's what she said. So it was a lot more painful than the first time I got them done. But, you know, it's worth it. <laughs> so that is it for this video, you guys. I hope this video was helpful for you and if it was, then please give it a like, comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.